I've been asked to test the Glass House Bluetooth mouse glasses and I've been testing them out on my Samsung Galaxy Android phone and they appear to work fine for an average user but I've run into some difficulties myself uh, which I will demonstrate for you. I'll just uh, test them out now for you. Okay, so I have the glasses on and I apologise that I can't really speak too well. Because as you can see, I have a button in my mouth. This is one of the problems I have found. When it is in your mouth constantly, you cannot help but dribble. Another problem I have come across is I cannot control the mouse pointer very accurately because of the limitations in the movement in my head. As you can see the mouse pointer on my phone, I can't move my, hand, my head too much. I can click Okay, but now the mouthpiece has fallen out of my mouth and I have no way of getting it back in without assistance. So my head movement is very limited and the only way I can get the mouse pointer to move is to rock my body which isn't going to be very accurate for doing tasks. I will take this off my head now and get back to talking to you normally. The experience for me was a little disappointing. But having said that, I can see the value in the headset for somebody who has more movement than me. On my Samsung Galaxy S6, I turned the pointer speed of the mouse up to the maximum and it was still quite difficult to move the mouse. I asked a friend of mine to try the one on her head and she had no problem controlling but obviously she's got a lot more movement than me and she actually needed the mouse pointer turning down to half speed and she had no trouble controlling it. The mouthpiece I found uncomfortable um, purely because of the restraints on my jaw. I have difficulty opening my mouth very wide so having something stuck between my teeth for a long period, I didn't like it and it causes you to dribble and it actually fell out of my mouth midway through this video. So to sum up, I think it's down to ability. If you have more head movement than I do, and you can possibly put up with the mouthpiece in your mouth or adjust it in such a way that you can get it in and out without actually having to touch it. Maybe I angle it near your lips and pull it in, I don't know. It might be okay for you, but for me, it's no good. The actual design of the glasses and the build is, seems very good. They're, they're not a cheap product, they don't feel cheap, they are comfortable around the ears and the bridge of the nose. 
So, I can't fault that. The pairing of the device with my smartphone was very easy. There's a little button just on the inside of the glasses that you hold in for a second which causes a light to flash on the front and you just search for the device on your um, smartphone or tablet and pair it just as you would a Bluetooth headset. It worked on my Kindle Fire but I couldn't get the setting to change the mouse speed. Uh, I would suspect it would probably work better on an Android tablet rather than the Kindle version of Android. It doesn't work with an iPad because it won't work on iOS but the instructions say it is going to work with Windows and Mac as long as you have Bluetooth connection which I will try and connect in a little while. Thank you for watching.